The 36 year old Attila Karalan of Turkey gets us underway. Lovely turn from Murazi. Looks to work it into midfield. Akachuku likes to shoot from range, and in the wet conditions, it's not a bad idea. So Ireland will need to beat him. Yes, they are to stand any chance of advancing. Great opportunity here toward the back post. Grant can't get on the end of it, but the header forward might land can kindly here for Melia. Can't get a shot away. It may do now. Blocked, but the second chance is there and taken by Luke here. Ireland are in front early. Inside four minutes. A set piece specialist has caught, scored a cracking goal. It bounced around. It looked like Hungary may clear it, but Ireland have taken their chance. And they have all but silenced the Pancho Arena, but for a small section of vibrant Irish fans. Horniak unable to clear. Melia turned, looked to get a shot away, did so. It was deflected, but back into the path of Cahir. And the man who scored against Cyprus in the qualifiers has his first goal of the... Hungary send in a blistering looking ball and it's deflected into his own net by Grant. Hungary back on level terms as the own goal is scored inside 10 minutes. We have seen some ferocious action on this pitch. The delivery crisp. And the attempted clearance is unwittingly turned. Quick to go to the pocket. Skarola. Great chance here. Name it. Shimon. Oh, Grant has taken one in the face. He goes down. Hungary continue. This. Okay, here. Lovely ball out wide. Square ball. Still alive. Chance for a second. Okay, here. Nearly had it. But for Jakobashvili. Down quickly to his right to deny Ireland a second strike. It's a little long, just a little long for Shimon. Again, it's a coming together of a couple of players, Freddy Turley and Benedict Shimon. Teams will go through with Poland. Delivery toward the back post, nobody there, but... Morazi toward the back post again, and brilliantly headed home by Melly his first goal of the finals he was top scorer in the qualifiers with four goals that included a hat-trick against Ukraine but he has struggled in the opening two fixtures of this European under 17 championship not now not tonight not in the rain Ireland back in front as from a set piece they have another goal beautiful delivery by Orazi Low, flat, crisp, and headed home with power by that man, Mason Melia. Just 15 years old. O'Sullivan. Delivery in this wet conditions has seen the ball skid off the surface. Comes in with speed and another chance here. It's headed wide by Kehir. He could have had another. Flick the ball into his net. From the set piece again, it's a real chance for Hungary. Umatum, usually so good from set pieces, depending on Hungary for the right to play in the knockout stages of this tournament. And Ireland lead by two goals to one. Make that three. The delivery is good again. Melia has scored. The 15 year old from St. Patrick's Athletic is having a fine evening on the stroke of 30 minutes. He has found his second of the tournament and his second of the game. It's Ireland's third. And not quite cruising in the rain, but certainly high flying at the moment. Beautifully kept in play by Orazi. And with the Hungarian defence standing waiting for the call to come. Beautiful set piece delivery. Saw Ireland concede last time. As I talk up his delivery down and 
failed to let the ball go over the goal line. Long range effort on the cards here, but this is well. Might take a shot himself instead, opts to go out wide. Razi. Ireland have numbers in that 18 yard area. Razi goes, but goes high. Gets in the way. It's well won back for Hungary. Delivery in towards Varga. Appeals for a penalty here. Jason, this opening half. A moment ago, this happened. Varga inside the area, receiving the ball from Benedict Shimon. And the Hungarian fans and players believing. Attila Karolan of Turkey gets the second half underway. Space opening up for Ireland and the danger players run into attacking positions. Here's Orazi. Orazi looking for a goal in this game. Options goes back to his captain. Tries the dip chip into the danger area. Grant's attempted clearance. Hasn't gone very far and it allows Varga the opportunity. Bab whips the ball in, but Ireland, meanwhile, stride forward again. Here might be a chance. Kier is calling for it. Comes his way and fires a stutter in. His first was perhaps fortuitous, but his second is absolutely stunning. A captivating strike from Kier has given Ireland a three goal lead as they go in search of a win. Hungary would now need three goals, unanswered, to advance. It looks to be Ireland's night in the rain. An own goal by Grant that sees them having scored their only goal. But they might have one here. Kern gets the touch, but can't direct an effort. Dangerous looking ball, and the header is there. The first effort on target comes from the captain, and he's pulled one back for Hungary. Six goals in this game. Martin Kern has his first of the tournament. And Hungary are not going to go down without a fight. Splendid delivery by Nemeth. Put away by Kern. And the theme of glorious deliveries continues. So back to Gyrsik. Gyrsik whips the ball in, but the header can't be turned goal bound. Kaczynski in a very attacking position. Super Cup to the Women's Champions League final. Maybe a hat trick on here for Kier here, but he's gotten underneath it. Salzburg born, Austrian based player. Kier here on a hat trick. Goes for his third, parried away by Jokobashvili. Vidnyansky's gone central. Simon looks to go directly for goal. It's come back for Varga. Varga tries but gets under your area, but nobody able to get on the end of it for Hungary. Girsik tries his luck, strikes Grant and out for the corner. Kaczynski forward, nodded down. Simon can strike them fearsomely, and indeed he does, but this time it's straight at Healy. Soon on the end of it. Lovely ball across. An opportunity for Ireland to go five. It's a devastating evening for Hungary, but it is a delightful celebratory evening for Ireland. The industrious Ireland have made their way through to the quarter-final stage for